Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm there to watch Rick and Morty season 4, episode 9. And today I'm also gonna watch episode 10, which means that I'm gonna end the season 4, which means that surely something big is gonna happen, something... I think the something that I'm not gonna like, yes, it's getting colder, I'm like that. Yes, I think something that I'm not gonna like, because the more I think about it, the more I think that the end of the season 3 was a trap, the end of the season 3 was made to make me happy, to make me smile, and to trap me, to create something fake, to make me think that the characters are evolving and the characters are getting better when in fact no everything was fake everything was not happening like that why am i seeing all of that because during all of this season four i had that doubt about best being really best and really the more i think about it the more i think that it was in fact clone best that we had sometimes she reacted really she she said weird stuff, she accepted stuff that normally she's not accepting, like... It felt a little wrong, and what felt even more wrong, it's really the attitude of Rick in front of her, but also with the entire family, the fact that he accepted the rules of the family, I mean the new rules of this family, the fact that he's right there each time for Jerry, right there to protect him, to save him, you know, almost like... Maybe the real best told him to keep an eye on Jerry. <laughs> I don't appreciate that idea, but I'm pretty sure that I'm right. The only thing, you know, which is making me think that maybe it's the real best, it's what happened during the last episode or during the episode before that. I can't remember the context. Wait a minute. Yes! That's it, I remember the context. It was the Parasite episode with Rick and Morty thinking that they would die... No, they would die by <laughs> farting an egg, uh, farting a parasite and that they would die during the process. In fact, they just farted and they just pooped on the carpet. But they thought that they would die and Rick talking to Bess really said something like I love you my daughter, you know, like honest and true things like he was really talking to his daughter. If it was clone Bess, I think that it would have been really the right moment for Rick to say something like clone Bess say to real Bess that I love her. Do I sound my logic right there? So that's why I think that, Pff, yes, I meant 90% that it's clone bass and 10% that maybe it's a real bass. But you know, it would explain that impression that I have that the end of the season 3 was totally fake. Because a lot of what I appreciated during the end of the season 3, it was Bess choosing her family more than Rick, you know? Bess choosing to, to change stuff, which would mean that this marriage maybe was not saved and you know i'm thinking about all of what happened during this season four and okay they are back together okay they seem nice you know like the dynamic of the family is okay but jerry is really on his own he had two episodes with living an adventure on his own with the talking cat and with you know the moment when he was floating into the air but also, you know, that thing about the fact that yes, that's a bee with the bees and no one is paying attention to it. Like he's still living stuff on his own, he's still all by himself. Okay, Bess is nicer with him, but it's almost like she's not considering him not that much. Maybe because it's not real Bess, it's clone Bess, so that's why she's not getting mad, but also she's not getting more... Uh, you know, nice with him. 
she's indifferent, you know, in a way, to all of what he's doing. But for Jerry, really, during the season, I wanted him to evolve, you know, during the first season, he was not considered. During the second season, he was, he was mistreated. During the third season, he was all by himself, and that was awful. During this season four, he's back with his family, so I really hoped for him, you know, to, to be more confident, to finally say no to stuff, to stop following people orders, you know, to really take decisions and stuff like that, and he didn't do it during the entire season. Like, the only thing that maybe he did, it was, you know, to put these lights on the house just by himself, but after leaving so many adventures, so I don't know if I can consider it as a success, not really. So, I want that for these two final episodes, something about Jerry finally taking a decision all by himself and for himself. I don't know if it's gonna happen. And for the other ones, somehow I said it, I think that <laughs> at least for this season, she's still not gonna have something for herself to develop her character. She's gonna be involved into these stories. She can make also funny lines, but to have really something a little deeper, I don't think so. And Marty, Marty is growing up, Marty is getting more independent. Marty made some mistakes during this season and he needed Rick to repair that. Marty lived some things, you know, also on his own. I don't know what could be the conclusion for Marty for this season. Maybe to get closer to Rick. You know, their relationship, I said it during the three first seasons, like each time during each intro and each review, that I was really worried for their relationship to go to go worse than all and during this season 4 I don't have the impression that it happened so maybe it's gonna happen during these two episodes or maybe it's gonna evolve in something better because this season 4 was not that bad in fact for their relationship Rick, I'm not so sure that I'm gonna have the answer about him <laughs> you know his original backstory and all of that, you know my theory about it. I'm not gonna say it again right there. But yes, I would want that also for Rick. Something with Marty. Because you know during one of the last episodes they were arguing so much like that was awful to hear. But during the other one they were saying so many nice stuff to each other. I even thought that it was suspicious and that maybe something bad was happening. It was not really them and all. So I don't know what to think anymore, you know, about the relationship. I want something about it right there. So right there, I'm gonna watch these two episodes of Rick and Marty of the season 4. And after that, I'm gonna make a certain break, you know, in my binge watching of Rick and Marty because it's gonna be Christmas holidays and I want to spend some time <laughs> with my family. And also because Demon Slayer I earned it to binge watch Demon Slayer, so I want to start a new anime and I want to, to watch at least 3 or 4 episodes, maybe more, just by myself, you know, I mean, filming it just in case, but I want to have that much advance on this anime to be sure that I'm gonna love it, so I'm gonna make reaction videos about it. I told you about that during one of the previous intros. I'm only making reaction videos about shows and animes that I'm sure that I'm gonna love. So I need to try that, you know, during some episodes to see if I appreciate how it's done on screen, if I appreciate the story, the characters, if there is really something for me into it. So yes, I think that I'm gonna spend maybe more than one week, maybe two weeks without Rick and Morty. I know that you guys, each time after each season, you have to wait one year or more than that, but for me it was not the case, you know, for all of these <laughs> four first seasons, so that's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> okay, let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want to have my Patreon on which we have a lot of advance, at least five episodes of advance, and we've extended our full reaction part, I put a lot of them, you know, for Rick and Morty, I think. For the two last episodes, I don't know because I didn't edit them yet, but for the train episode, for example, I know that I put the full action part. 
And yes, for other big ones, I put the 4 action part. Extended to action part, it's already interesting because I'm not forced to play with opacity, because I'm not forced to cut each 5 seconds, because I can give you a longer reaction part. And it's the best way to support me, my Patreon, if you can be interested, if you can, it would be appreciated, really. Even more with the beginning of this year, you know. <laughs> if you can. Let's go. For best to really want to do that, maybe it's not grand best. I told you kids, no phone. There's not even any service. Just let us be happy for a minute. Maybe if you two stop whining. When they're not gonna have any battery anymore, you're gonna be okay. Take a bite of this tasty treat. Oh, you think this s'more makes you special? Someone said good job to you once when you were ten. That's actually really sad, Dad. Been high roping us nonstop. You summon! Fucking nowhere because it's the only way you're gonna level the playing field, isn't it? Move the bar so low. But you're just insane to talk like that to your dad or just to someone. You have to be so mean and to have really no empathy for anyone. He wants to spend a good time with you. He wants to do something right. Oh, I'm so mad. I swear my, my heart is accelerating just because I'm mad. And yes, I know that you hate Jerry. It's a parenting station, what you created? And best you want to help him? In a way, he's a better parent. Oh, Jerry, let them evolve. Why do they not camp? Because they're 
because they're bad. <laughs> and that's it, Jerry. You just began a war. Don't. So now, are you sure of bro? that? I think we got this, bro. <laughs> okay, you want to do the honors? What, really? Wow, okay. Sure we go. You don't have a family. You have a community of slaves. But I guess that's the lesson. Crazy things happen when you put in the work. And I was talking to both of them. <laughs> Look at this. Everyone's happy. They're about to go into space. Everything is fake. Hey, uh, it's good to see you, baby. Um, Gaia, you know huh? A cloud fed the planet? Oh, you won't. Stop acting like you did a good job. You made my kids soft and empty inside. I mean, maybe we should just bail, Dad. At least this guy is immortal and can stick around. Bullshit, they're my kids. We're staying. You want to stay? Sharon? Oh my god. Is that you? What the hell are you doing? Camping. Uh huh. Label these creatures unproductive, but I have given them more purpose than effort. More attention. Is it again a fight about who is uh, the master, you know, of your family? To all of them and to Jerry? It's a little extreme, even for you. Oh. It can last for a long time, really. This one should be the start button. Perfect. Somehow you're so high. Okay, you want to prove your point, kids. I don't want the two of you to fight. Considered. Not needed, just considered. Do you know the difference? It's not for this fake kid, it's for best. You still need your parents. You smoked it right. <laughs> I don't like the symbolic of this entire scene. No Jerry attacking Beth. In fact, the family that she wanted to create. She said that she loves you. I'm gonna be okay just with that. Get out. Oh, and she's killing the rest of her kids. Nah. To be with them. He also tanked. He drove the ship into that Zeus guy's head, basically murdered him. Ha ha ha! Jerry, pretty terrible parenting on your part. Did you know Summer helped the Kazak array? She basically smoked the brain. You want to prove that there are as bad parents as you? It's a mythic for planet? Because it's 
I didn't hear you last. I'm not sure I appreciate and also I fully understand <laughs> all of the symbolic of this episode. I mean, all of that story about Bess and Rick trying to make that weird big family with these fake kids. I mean, it was not Rick's kids, but he thought that they were. Best thought that they were. So because of that, together they created all of that, you know, to have a system to be a parent for all of these fake kids. I have an impression, you know, that Bess wanted a family doing that and also wanted for Rick to not abandon other kids, you know, to not do what he did for them. Rick maybe wanted the same, but also he wanted to do something with his daughter. Maybe also Bess just wanted to do something with her dad. But at the end, you know, discovering that it was not his real kid, Rick was okay for them to be killed, but not the city, not the system, because all of that, he created it with Bess, and it was important for Bess. And it was important for Bess because she created a system to be a good parent for her siblings, her fake siblings. Bess, you have such an issue with the family that you would have loved to have that you never had, that you can never add. She really never said goodbye, you know, to that idea, that idea family. Maybe she, she still thinks that she can repair that, that she can have that. You know, it could explain a lot about our relationship with Rick also. And all of the symbolic, you know, about Jerry attacking this family. I'm not gonna come back to the fact that Jerry was, you know, like rated, I don't know the word for that, as unproductive and because of that he was sent away with all of the unproductive ones. I'm not gonna come back to the fact that, okay, he went too far with that camping stuff and because of that he didn't want them to evolve and that was really bad. But at least right there, he was spending time with these kids, truly. He was teaching them stuff, truly. He was encouraging them, he was there for them, and he was not treating them as they were losers, you know, like... Not like what Pess and Rick are doing with their family. Into your family, you're not supposed to send away the people that you are judging unproductive and stuff like that. And not only in your family, but also in real life. And also, you know, if your husband best, that's for you. I have that to say. <laughs> that for sure, I liked, you know, what Jerry did with these guys, even if I didn't approve everything that he did, even if he went too far with that. Even if at the end he has that uh, gut syndrome, you know, with them and all, and even more because he has powers, so really he's going too far with that. But you know, the symbolic of Bess who is trying to create a fake family with fake siblings, but she wants that family, she protects that family, and it's Jerry who is attacking it, like that. Do you understand what I mean? Like, the symbolic of that, I don't like it. Because again, the writers, the situation is really putting Jerry as an enemy of this family that Bess is trying to create, wants. You know, he doesn't have a part into this family. He, he wants to fight it because he wants to be considered. I don't agree at all with what Summer said, for sure, but also what Bess said, I don't think that Jerry, he wants to be needed, like, maybe, yes, a little, but for me, it's more like he wants to be considered, you're not considering him, you're almost denying that he's right there, his own existence, like, what happened into the car when he was pushed back into the car 
What happens, in fact, each time that he's opening his mouth, that he's doing something like just the thing with the bees, you know, the fact that he was working with bees and he had his own honey and stuff like that, he said something about it and no one responded to him, no one considered him just that. And right there, it's giving me the same impression, like you're saying so many mean stuff to him when really with his kids, he only wanted to spend time with them, to maybe teach them something. Okay, that was lame things that they don't need to know and that maybe they already know, but it's not the purpose, you know, to learn something, not really. It's just your dad who is trying to teach you something. Like, I'm sure that you into your real life, you had at some point one of your parents coming and talking to you, thinking that he or she is teaching you something new and in fact you already know it but you're not seeing it because you just see you know you can feel you can see that your parent is just so you know so glad so proud to teach you something so you don't want to stop that and really during this moment i felt that it was the case for jerry he just wanted to spend time with his kids and to teach them something, to do something with them and they were just mean with him and they were judging him and they were treating him bad. It's making me mad, it's making me so mad. I have the impression that it's never gonna change. For Jerry, you know, I have the impression that it can't change, it can't evolve and for Jerry, you know, himself, I don't want that, I don't want the situation to continue like that. I said it during the intro, what I would want for him is to evolve and to be more confident and to take decisions by himself, for himself, to, to really uh, do things like that. And during this episode, that's what he did. But at the same time, he's returning into his family with people who are not considering him or treating him badly. I know that most of you guys, you don't appreciate Jerry. I know also that some of you, you hate Jerry. I said it, uh, I'm okay with you if you don't like Jerry. I'm not there, you know, to judge that. I'm not okay when you are saying that he's passive aggressive, you know, that default, because for me, it's really not like that. You can say that he's lame, you can say that he's a coward and stuff like that. I would agree with that, but he's not passive aggressive not at all, like really all of what he's doing I mean, I know some passive aggressive person into my real life, I mean and clearly it's not that it's so not that um, he's just trying to do right things and he's doing it badly, for sure but at least he's trying to do right things and you know it's not with bad intentions and passive aggressive people they are doing it with bad intentions to manipulate someone to manipulate the feelings of someone and stuff like that Jerry is not doing that that's why I don't accept that thing you know passive aggressive again you can say that he's lame that he's a coward that uh, you know sometimes he's really stupid and that's annoying you can say that it's is annoying and stuff like that like really i'm not gonna tell you that you're wrong i'm just telling you that for me his qualities are making you know the balance go like that then his defaults you know the fact that i'm more considering his qualities than his defaults but the passive aggressive argument no i don't agree uh, this episode uh, it was a good one for sure it was a good one but the message of it, the symbolic of it, uh, how I'm finishing it, uh, I'm not so glad. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop right there this review. I'm gonna watch one more episode, the last episode of this season for today for me on another video for you. So it's all for you for today and it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Ah. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.